In this tutorial, we will teach you how to censor a clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. For this tutorial, we will be working on this particular stock footage of a busy Chinese market. In the video, we will be blurring out the face of this person over here. As the object is moving in the video, we would have to animate the effect as well. So let's get started. First of all, let's move towards the project panel. Drag the same video and bring it to the second video layer in the project sequence. With that done, let's move the seek bar right at the beginning of the sequence, and now we will add effects on this layer. For that, move to the Effects tab here and search for the Mosaic effect. There are multiple effects with the same name in the presets here, but what we are looking for can be found under the Stylize folder. Simply drag the Mosaic effect here and bring it on the second video layer in the project sequence. With that done, you will notice here that the effect has censored the whole video. Now let's configure the effect. For that, move to the Effect Controls panel on top. Over here you will notice that the default setting for the effect is 10 pixels by 10 pixels. You can configure both the horizontal and vertical values by simply double-clicking on them and changing the values. For this tutorial, we will change the settings to 50 pixels by 50 pixels. With that done, you can see the output in real time over here in the program window. The values used here depend on the resolution you're working on, so it's important to experiment with different values according to your requirements. In order to censor the face over here, we would have to isolate that area and animate it according to the video. For that, we would add a track mat on a new layer. You can think of this as a moving mask layer on the screen. So let's move to the project panel here and add a new layer. For that, let's click on the new item icon over here, and from the menu, select the color mat option. Over here, make sure the video settings are exactly according to the project you are working on, including the frames per second and the pixel aspect ratio. With the default settings kept as they are, click on the OK button, and now you'll be required to choose a color for the layer. For this tutorial, we will keep the black color selected and click on the OK button. Next, you will be required to name the layer. Let's call it Face Blur for now. Once you hit the OK button, the layer would appear in the project panel over here. Now let's drag this layer and place it on the third video layer in the project sequence. When you add the layer in the project sequence, you can see over here that it defaults to a specific duration and doesn't cover the entire length of the clip. To fix this, you can stretch this video layer by simply moving towards the end of the clip and when the icon changes, click and drag to stretch the layer and snap it to the end of the video. With that done, let's click on the layer in the program window and reduce the size of the layer by dragging the corner placeholders inwards. Now what we need to do is connect both the censored layer and the track mat layer in order to isolate the effect and only cover the area defined by the track mat layer. So make sure that the mosaic layer is selected which is the second video layer in this case. After that, we will move to the Effects tab once more and search for the Track Matte Key Effect. The effect should be in the Keying folder over here. Once located, simply drag the effect and place it onto the Effects Control section on top, like so. Next to the Matte option here, you can see that by default, the option is set to None. Since we added a track mat layer in the third video layer, let's open up the drop down menu and choose the video 3 option. With that done, you will notice in the program window that the black track mat that we had added now has become the pixelated portion of the video. Now let's drag the pixelated area over the face that we want to blur. You can reduce the size of the track mat to match the portion of the screen you want to censor. Before doing that, let's open up the Motion drop-down menu in the Effect Controls panel and disable the Uniform Scale option. Now we can freely resize the box to cover the entire face that we want to censor. Since the object is moving, you would want to animate the effect so that the pixelated area keeps on moving according to the object. Therefore, move to the Video Effects section within the Effect Controls panel and click on the Stopwatch icon before the Position option. With that done, you will notice over here that a key frame has been added. Now what we would have to do is move further in the timeline and keep changing the position of the pixelated area as the object is moving forward. You would have to do this part manually throughout the duration of the clip in which the object is on screen. So just keep moving forwards in the timeline and keep dragging the track mat forward according to the movement of the object. 
Make sure the face is at the center of the track mat at all times. This way you won't ever miss the face. Keep in mind not to go too fast while animating the effect, otherwise you might leave out gaps where the face will be visible for a brief duration at the end. Instead, keep moving the track mat at each and every frame. As you keep moving the track mat, you will notice over here that keyframes are continuously added at each and every movement. If needed at a particular point, you can even resize the track mat layer by dragging the placeholders on the corner. The effect would be animated accordingly. Keep doing the same thing till the object is no longer on the screen, and you can see this trail appearing on the screen represents the path of the animation the effect will follow. Now let's move the seek bar at the beginning of the clip and render the sequence by pressing the enter key on the keyboard. With that done, you can check out the final output. And over here you can see that we have successfully censored the face throughout this clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. And that's it. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.